let's try a few more of these Lewis structures. So if you want to take a minute to do 8.5 and 8.6 on your own, that would be great. Uh, if you don't feel like you're ready to do that yet, just follow along with me. So we're going to go follow those steps again. So CH2Cl2, the first thing you want to do is figure out how many valence electrons are you working with. And so you go over there, you know, carbon has four. Eventually you'll get to the point where you don't even need to look at the periodic table, but you will always have it. So for now, use it. Hydrogen has one, and you have two hydrogens, so that gives you two. Chlorine has seven, and you have two of those, so that gives you 14. So when you add all those up, you should get 20 electrons total. So carbon loves to be in the middle. Carbon loves to form covalent compounds. He loves to be in the middle. So now I'm going to connect everybody else with uh, single bonds. And it doesn't really matter um, how you arrange them. You can put two chlorines on the same side. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, this is really happening in three dimensions anyway. And so any way you do it is fine. So I just used up two, four, six, eight electrons. So I have 12 left over. Now don't put any dots around hydrogen. Hydrogen's happy forming one bond. Don't give him any more electrons. He's going to get mad. So let's go to chlorine. So we have so chlorine already has two electrons around it. I, I need to have eight. So I'm going to give it six more. Two, four, six, and eight, ten, twelve. And now I'm out of electrons and everybody looks happy. So that carbon has two, four, six, eight. Each hydrogen has two, which is fine. And this chlorine has two four, six, eight. So always do a final count to make sure that everybody has um, the right number of electrons. Everybody has eight if they satisfy the octet or if they're an exception like hydrogen that they don't. Um, and then you can also do a final count to make sure you have the right number of electrons total. We should have had 20. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 10, 12 14, 16, 18, 20. So that one's all done. So now if you want to pause the video and, and do the rest of these, um, that's fine. We'll look at NO positive, so be careful with that positive, that means it lost an electron. So nitrogen has five electrons, oxygen has six, that gives me 11. I'm going to subtract one for the charge, so that positive number means I lost an electron, so I'm going to subtract an electron from that total. So I don't really have a central atom here, I just have N and O. So I used up two electrons, I have eight more. I'm going to put them around oxygen first because oxygen's more electronegative than nitrogen. Um, and I know that because oxygen is closer to fluorine. So remember, electronegativity increases over, increases up towards fluorine. And electronegativity means the electrons are more attracted to the more electronegative one. So I'm going to start with oxygen. Um, oxygen already has two electrons around it in that bond, right? They count as two. So he needs six more, two, four, six and then eight, and I'm out of electrons, and I can stop. Or what's wrong? What's wrong with that guy? Nitrogen's not happy. So what do we do? We can't just give him more electrons because there aren't any more. So when we run out of electrons, then we have to share. So instead of having, oh, instead of having these electrons around oxygen, I'm gonna put them in the bond so they can share. If I did that, I have nitrogen, now I have a double bond there. Nitrogen's still not happy, so I'm going to have to share another pair and put them here. So I get nitrogen with a triple bond to the oxygen. And so now I can check. Okay, so this oxygen has two, four, six, eight, and this nitrogen has two, four, six, eight. So everybody has eight electrons, and I have two, four, six, eight, ten total. So everything looks good on this one. Now, because it's an ion, and this is the first ion we're looking at, all the ions, you put brackets around it and indicate the charge. Now for C2H4, uh, carbon loves to bond with another carbon, and then you kind of want to make everything look as symmetric as possible. So since you have C, two Cs, and, and four Hs, you can do that. Carbon has four electrons times two carbons gives me eight electrons. Hydrogen has one electron each. I have four of them, so I have four total. So that gives me 12 electrons. And I did, I skipped ahead and I, and I showed you how they were arranged first. That's fine. I already used up two, four, six, eight, ten electrons. So I have two electrons left over. All the hydrogens are happy. This carbon has two, four, six. This carbon has two, four, six. So if I get put dots on one, the other guy is going to be mad. So instead of doing that, ah, well, I shouldn't have done that. We'll just do that instead. So we draw a double bond. They share electrons instead of um, 
being angry about it. All right, so I really have two, four, six, eight, that carbon. This carbon has two, four, six, eight. And I have a total of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, which is what I started with. So that guy is all fine. He doesn't need brackets because he's not an ion. We have some more ions down here. So take a minute for yourself and really pause the video. Try to do these on your own. That's the only way you're going to learn them. Um, let's try BRO3 minus. Let's start with there. So I'm going to put bromine in the middle because I have only one of those and I have three oxygens. So I'll do that. And now I can count up my total number of electrons. Bromine has seven. Oxygen has six and I have three of those. Ah, so that's 18. So 18 plus seven is what, 25. Plus I have a charge. Right, 25 plus another one gives me 26. And I already used up two, four, six in the bonds. So I have 20 left over. So I'm going to start with the oxygen. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And then I can put 2 on the bromine. That gives me 20. And everything's good. So I'm going to put that in brackets and give it a charge because he he's an ion. And then ClO2, chlorine in the middle, O and O. Chlorine has 7. And oxygen has 6 times 2 gives me 12. That gives me 19. And because it has that negative 1 charge, I'm going to add one more electron. I have 20. So I used up 2, 4 already in the bonds, which gives me 16. Now this oxygen already has 2, so he just needs 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Um, out of electrons. Everybody has an octet, so you can you can figure that out. Chlorine has two, four, six, eight. Each oxygen has eight, so everybody's good there. And the last one, the phosphate ion looks like that. The phosphorus has five, oxygen has six times four. 24 and five, that's 29 plus three, gives us 32. All right, so I'm expecting you to kind of have worked that out and you're just checking your work now. So I have 32, I already used up two, four, six, eight. So I have 24 left. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. And so that satisfies the octet rule for everybody. We're going to learn a different structure for this guy in a minute. We're going to learn how to calculate formal charges, and I'm going to show you a better structure for this. So this is not our this is our final answer for this section, but we're going to look at this guy again and see how we can make it even better. The real structure looks even even better than this one.